Hey guys, Ash St. Gillet here from the Real Estate Freedom Realty Group. I am especially excited to have you join me here today because I'm going to be sharing with you my controversial but game-changing approach to debt. So the truth is that I love debt, but I love the right kind of debt. But if you've been following some other financial gurus, sorry Dave Ramsey, you might have heard that they recommend having no debt at all. So this is myth number one that we're going to debunk today, is that all debt is bad. The fact of the matter is that debt is exactly the tool that I've been able to use in order to turn $85,000 of my own money into a real estate portfolio worth $3 million. This is one of the three principles that I have used over and over in my own investing career and is also how I teach and coach my consulting clients to have these kind of results in their life. So this is literally the power of leverage. Mortgage debt is some of the safest and least expensive debt that you will have ever obtain in your entire life. 30 year fixed interest rates are so super safe you know exactly what your payment is going to be with this particular loan for the next 30 years. Where else can you get a guarantee of what your expenses are gonna be for 30 years? Just think about that real quick. So with the right property, using debt can be an amazing way to increase your return on your investment. So we'll go ahead and we'll talk about that a little bit more in myth number three that we're going to debunk. So myth number two is that you need to be wealthy to invest in real estate. The truth of the matter is that you will need to have some cash to invest, but investing in real estate can significantly increase your wealth over time. When I got started in real estate investing, I put about $5,000 out of my pocket for my first ever property. For my second property, which was a duplex, I put about $12,000 out of my pocket. So you do not have to be wealthy to invest in real estate, but what you do need to understand is how to use the correct mortgage lending products at the right time for the right property in order to reach your goals. And myth number three that we'll debunk today is why you should not buy all your investments in cash. We had one particular client who had actually been investing out of state in Florida, and him and his wife had been saving up cash to buy each investment in cash every single time. Here's the challenge with that. Let's just say, for example, you're going to buy a property for $100,000. Think about how that one property could work for you if you pay $100,000 in cash for one property, you have one property earning for you in the four ways, positive cash flow, principal pay down of your mortgage, tax benefits, and property appreciation. And in this case, your mortgage isn't getting paid down, so that means that you have more cash in your pocket each month. However, compare that $100,000 investment instead to being able to invest in five separate properties with $20,000 each. So instead of having one property working for you in four ways, you then have five properties working for you in four ways. Sure, your cash that you make at the end of every day on each property is less, but overall think about the total wealth that you can be building over five properties instead of one. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because I'll show you exactly the numbers to prove how investing with mortgage lending can be way more effective than buying in all cash. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Again, super excited that we got to cover principle number one of my teaching, which is leverage, how to use leverage to get the best ROI for your money. The second principle that we teach are protection strategies. And the third strategy that we teach are growth strategies. So cannot wait to see you on another video real soon. 
Make sure you RSVP below so that you can be invited to all of our awesome upcoming events and get amazing tips and tricks just like this one. And be sure to watch out because monthly, I share my real estate freedom blueprint story, which is exactly how I built my portfolio worth $3 million today with just $85,000 of my own money. So thank you so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you soon.